Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a piece of software called Trello. And Trello, plain and simple, is a piece of software that helps you organize your workflow. And I first saw this being used by Tim Schmoyer over on his YouTube channel, Video Creators. And if you create videos and you're a YouTuber, definitely check out his channel. I'll link it in the description below because he has a gold mine worth of information over there. And so as I said, Trello is used to organize your workflow. You run it on your PC's browser, so it works on Windows and Mac. And it also has an iOS app and an Android app available. But instead of me just trying to sit here and explain to you guys how it works and what it does, I'll just show you how I use Trello and some of the features that it has. And so once you go to Trello's website and sign up, they will walk you through a tutorial board. I'm just going to show you guys an example board I put together with some of my stuff that I use for my YouTube channel. Um, but up here you can go, you can see your boards, you can search. And so if I'm going to open this one up, this is actually the board itself. Your board has different lists which are the different columns. You can add as many lists as you want. You can just scroll through them um, as you want just by clicking and dragging. And then you have your cards on your individual lists. And now these cards can be dragged from one list to the other. So if I have something that's an idea, I want to move it to pre-production and then I'm recording it and it needs edited, then it needs uploaded, then it needs to do whatever it wants to do next. Um, that's how that works. And it's very easy, click and drag. It's very simple, nothing complicated here. Over here, you have a menu where you can access a bunch of different things. Um, you can filter cards, you can do power-ups, things like the calendar, which I have enabled, card aging, voting. A couple other things, stickers, you can view more. You can view your archived items. You can't really delete stuff. If you try to delete something, it gets archived, and then you can delete stuff from the archive, which I guess is a good thing. That way, it's a backup, just in case you accident accidentally archive something you didn't want to archive. And so we'll get out of there. You can also add members. This can actually be really cool because if you have a bunch of people working together on a project, you can add as many people as you want to a team. You can have as many teams as you want. You can give certain people on certain teams access to certain boards and certain cards. And people can just, whoop, whoop, if they work on something, go drag it to here, drag it to there. Very nice if you want to work with a large group of people on a project. And so the cards themselves can be customized to pretty much whatever you want them to do. If you click on here, it's kind of a little bit of a shortcut. Edit labels, change members, move, copy, change due date, archive. And then if you actually click on the actual card itself, you can do a bunch of stuff. Here I just have a very simple description. This is a description, obviously. You can also put attachments on here. They are 10 megabyte size limit. If you get Trello Gold, that moves up to 250 megabytes. But I use a free version because it just does enough for me. I don't need the gold version. You can also link to stuff that is in other bo boxes and drives like Dropbox, Google Drive, and you can pretty much link anything with a URL. You can have due dates. You can also set times for your due dates. Checklists, and you can also copy your checklist from other different cards that you have. And so if I want to copy, let's say, hmm, let's copy the product review list. So I will add it. And then I have another checklist and I have a ton of checklists here on this one because I've gone through this video a few times just to double check things. And now I have five different copies of different checklists. But you can check stuff off and you get a nice satisfying bar of completion. It's always nice and satisfying to complete and check things off. And you can ha hide completed items and you can just drag and reorganize things however you'd like. And down at the bottom here, you can see an activity log for that card and you can add comments if you'd like, and you can just do all kinds of things. It's very thorough, and pretty much everything I need for a video or really anything work-related, I can just add into here or link to it, and it's all located in one card, and it's very organized and very easy. And so earlier I mentioned the calendar power-up. If I click on that, it'll show me everywhere that I have a due date, and so I have um, scheduled recording dates. Um, like These are scheduled recording days for different videos, um, this video is due today at 10 p.m., which I'm doing it right now, and it's just very nice. You can just flip through your calendar, very clean, very simple, and you can just see at a glance, um, either month or by week, what needs done, and it's a very useful power-up. Definitely recommend using that, and so there's a lot of potential here, and this just isn't for video creators. This is for anybody who wants just to organize their workflow for website creators, for people who run a business, for people who work nine to five job, you got things you gotta do. I mean, you can just move your projects from one list to the other, very easy, and it's organized, and you can work with other people and collaborate, and it's just a really nice piece of software. You can have as many boards as you want, and I would definitely recommend that you guys try it out. 
Um, I'll link it for sure down in the description below. It's free. You have nothing to lose. And it's definitely something you might want to consider trying out to help better your workflow and make you more organized and efficient. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on Trello. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. And let me know down in the comment section below if you plan to use Trello and how you're going to use it. And I know for me, it's not just good for video. It's good for pretty much any application where you have to organize something in your workflow. And so if you did enjoy the video, remember to subscribe as well and check out all my social links that are all down in the description below. And so thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.